this ha- this has sparked a tremendous debate as to whether testing imperatives, the requirement that teachers re- be judged based on the results of tests taken by their students, is leading to misaligned incentives, whether it's pushing some of these teachers to, to, to reach for these shortcuts to then cheat. Of course, there was also uh, a scandal in the Washington, D.C. public school system recently where uh, students were apparently being asked to erase the wrong answers and put back in new ones. That was a couple of years ago under school's chancellor, Michelle Rhee. But this is an especially large scandal, and of course it, it, it occurs in the context of a huge debate about education reform in this country, and it, it, it has uh, really raised some eyebrows. We want to debate this issue. We want to bring the viewers and listeners of Take Action News a better idea of the different perspectives on this issue of education reform. Should teachers be teaching more to the test? Should we be evaluating teachers' performance based on their students' test scores? How should we be evaluating teachers' performance? And what is the key to bring our nation's schools back on track? Joining me now to debate this very issue is Leonie Hyamson, the executive director of Class Size Matters in New York City, and Marcus Winters, a senior fellow at the Manhattan Institute. Leonie, Marcus, thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for having me. Leonie, are you on the line there? I am. Can you hear me? I, I, uh, I guess I, I may have uh, overheard it from... Uh, it may, may, yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. Um, so let me pose oh. the question. Yes. And, 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 and uh, I, I, Leonie, I'll, I'll have you answer this uh, first, and that is... Does the Atlanta public schools cheating scandal in which all of these teachers and school superintendents are now being indicted for orchestrating, for, for really juking the stats, uh, to, you know, for orchestrating cheating on standardized tests in order to juke the stats about their school, the city's uh, school performances and improvements on test scores. Is that the result of a misguided approach to education reform that emphasizes test scores too much in evaluating teachers? Uh, well, I don't want to excuse what happened at Atlanta because I don't think it's excusable. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't but we now have evidence of test score manipulation in at least 37 states in Washington D.C. in recent years, um, and I think one of the main reasons for this explosion of cheating scandals is the tremendous pressure that is put on schools, on students, and teachers to raise test scores every year. Uh, Hi, I'm sorry, it's silent. Campbell's Law, which was a sociological observation made by a man named Donald Campbell, that the more high stakes you put on any particular measurement, the more people will gain and figure out how to cheat the system. And I think that this is what's happening in America across the country right now. And I know of situations in New York City, in Washington, D.C., in other cities, um, a level of corruption that approaches what happened in Atlanta, if not equals it. And I also want to say that there is absolutely no evidence that measuring teacher quality or deciding which schools to keep open or closed or holding back kids on the basis of test scores actually improves education. And we have voluminous evidence to show that it damages the quality of education. Mm 